uh, on the charts I use, um, I've referred to them before, there are two different operating systems in the human system. The one that we come running on, the one that's based on fun, happiness, unconditional love, trust, and then the one that we learn, which is pretty much based on mediocrity. And it takes a tremendous amount of our intelligence to learn those two, that second world. The first one we know, the second one we learn, and the first one we have to kind of be reminded of through an experiential uh, ex experiential experience. Oh, that's sounding a little, but that's what my weekends do. But in between the two worlds, in between the two operating systems, uh, what what is there is paradox and confusion. And uh, they said that Buddha got between those two sp spots of enlightenment and sat for a while and said, I have, I have a right to be within this. Okay, paradox only exists because we have language. Uh, if I try to talk about paradoxes to my dog, my dog doesn't get it. Everything he looks at goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? But a seeming paradox is if a car is traveling at 60 miles an hour this way and another car is coming at it 60 miles an hour this way, the closing distance, the closing speed is 120 miles an hour. Okay, they're going at each other 120 miles an hour. But if you take a photon of light, which is traveling 1,860 miles per second, and another photon of light traveling at 1,860 seconds, and you look, try to see how fast they're approaching each other, they're approaching each other at the same speed as they're traveling. Okay? It doesn't seem possible. It's a paradox. It's something that is, but doesn't make sense to the mind. If we're going to get comfortable with being out in higher states of awareness, we have to get uh, okay with two things. One, the paradox exists, right? And things are not as they seem, and they don't make sense. And confusion can be a very high state. When you look at the world, when I look at the world, it makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't understand why in the year 2012, there's a great song, if we can do all this, why can't we make peace? Right? Why can't we feed all the people on the planet when there's, when there's an overabundance of food? It doesn't make any sense when you go out of your mind. Right? It's very confusing. A lot of people get really uncomfortable with that state of confusion. When I hear it in my class, I'll ask questions and say, I'm really confused, and you can see it. You can see that they're very confused. And I said, okay, relax. It's a very high state. And quite, I said, it's a very, very high state. It means you're out of your mind. It's past your mind-based learning method. Your past mind-based learning method. Your past logic. Your past trying to figure it out. You're out to where the world really exists. I mean, look around you. Look all around you. Does it make any sense to you, a lot of what's going on? If you're confused, you may be in a very high state. Now, how to be functional within that state becomes the challenge.